You've probably seen this on TikTok, but this is what the girlies are all using to give themselves a fake blowout, and it looks amazing. So I literally straightened my hair for this for the first time in years because I want to try the blowout with this heated round brush. This is the Wavy Talk 5-in-1 Ceramic Curling Wand Set, and I mostly just bought it for the heated round brush, but there are other attachments in there. It comes with the base, a skinny one, a tapered one, a beaded one, a thick one. The reason I bought it, the heated round brush, a glove, and some clips. So let's put this together. All you have to do is press this side button, and then you stick this in until it clicks, and then you let go. Now it's attached. So let's plug this baby in, and it has different settings. I think I'm going to put it on one. I'm going to a Valentine's Day party today, so that's what's up with all of the pink. But I want to have the bouncy wavy curls, and I am really scared of this because... I've never successfully used a round brush before. And that's partially because I don't use heat on my hair, so I don't really have a need to use a round brush, but my sister got one caught in her hair once and I was so terrified of them ever since, so I'm still really scared right now. <laughs> Let's section out my hair. So I have the top pieces out of the way, and I'm gonna start with the bottom, and the brush is heated up for a few minutes now, so it's probably warm enough, but let's find out. I'm just gonna comb this one last time in case that brush tries to get stuck. And I'm going to brush the bottom pieces inwards and the top pieces out. Okay, this is not that bad. I don't want to speak too quickly, but this is not that bad. And I'm like wrapping and curling the end piece. And it is sliding very easily. I'm going to hold it at the top and then unroll a little bit and then brush through the ends. And let's see. Okay, that did something. I'm gonna brush this one like diagonally just so that they don't combine into each other so I can get a little bit more volume. I'm gonna hold it up here for like four seconds and then start to unwind and then brush through just the end. Okay, this is cute. Brushing from the top is nice to start so that everything is even and then by the time you curl into it, it's just a flat little curl that will easily wrap around. And the goal of this is pretty much to have the ends just like have a floofy little airy light curl so it looks like a blowout. So that's why I'm really focusing on the ends. And then I have seen the girlies twist to the end and then they just down. I think I'm gonna just twist them a little bit and let it do its thing. I can't wait to get to the top sections and curl it outwards and to the layers. Oh my goodness. So this works best with layers and I have some face framing layers and then it kind of goes out like that. And the more layers you have in your hair, the more it will look like just like a layered blowout that's kind of like I don't know, like a waterfall or something. Um, let me know if there's a term for that, but that's what I've been really seeing. Very layered people doing this, and well, layered hair people doing this, and it just looks so good. So let's do the rest of the bottom and get that base layer going and make it as wispy as possible. And by the way, I do have heat protected in my hair from before when I straightened it. Also, I'm pulling outwards away from my head now to build up some volume bottom is finished so let's do the top and look at how beautiful and bouncy this looks I am so excited to see the final product so at the top I'm gonna start by curling upwards so it gives at least a little volume and I'm curling this away from my face so far this doesn't seem to be snagging at all and that's what I was so scared of but it's going really smoothly and I think as long as you uncurl it the right amount then it won't get stuck and maybe that's because it's a ceramic barrel, so it's easier to slide on. I'm also alternating curling away from my face and towards my face, just so the different sections don't kind of clump together. But for face framing pieces, I'm curling away from my face. Okay, this is insane. Look at the volume, look at the ends, the blowout. Oh my goodness. I've literally never had my hair like this before. I've never done a blowout look before. I usually do tighter curls, but... This is giving exactly what it's been giving the other girlies on TikTok. I'm really surprised and very relieved because I bought this thing at full price like four minutes before it went on sale. Look at how stunning these layers are. 
I'm so glad I got a layered haircut. And by that I mean I gave myself layers. And I think my face framing pieces just look so good. And now the last thing people would do would probably be hairspray, but I just don't really feel like that. And I have to leave now if I'm gonna be on time. So I don't wanna keep my friends waiting. This is the final look. I'm so happy with it. I definitely recommend trying out the heated round brush. Do it on low and it still works very well. So yeah, I'm kind of in love with this brush. I'm so glad I got it. TikTok shop, you did not let me down on this one. So let me know in the comments what you think and what I should try next.